Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. The other day I painted a fence. The customer had leftover paint from the last time the fence was painted, but it wasn't enough to go ahead and repaint the fence. So I took the existing paint that they had, I color matched it, got the quantity that I needed, and now the, the fence is painted and I'm going to take what they had left over and pour it into a smaller container so they can use it for touch-ups. So I have my gloves on because I don't want to get paint on my hands. Here's the old can. We've got the lid that's coming off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into this other can here. I'm just going to pour in just enough to fill the can or give them a good enough quantity that they can use. So here we go, we're going to pour this in here like this. All they're doing is using it for touch-ups. And I'm going to go like this with my finger. Because I got gloves on, I can do that. There we go. I'm going to take a paper towel and I'll wipe off my finger. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover it. And because I didn't have any paint residue on the lip, I can go ahead and just pound it down. If I did have some paint residue on the lip, I would cover it with a paper towel or a rag first so it doesn't go and split out all over. There. So now what we're going to do is I am going to label it on top. But first, I'm going to take just a little bit of the paint that's on the inside of the can. I'll put a little dot on it, just like they do at the paint store. It will dry all on its own. And I'm going to label this fence paint. And I'm going to put today's date, which is 5-16-2020. Once that's done, we put the lid back on the old can until we decide what we're going to do it and how we're going to dispose of it. So the can is closed, it's labeled, it's got a little, little dab of paint on top, so we're good for right now. So we can go ahead and store this in the garage, in, in, the, uh, in the basement, any place where it does not get to the point where it's going to be freezing. Uh, paint that freezes and thaws, freezes and thaws, freezes and thaws is no good. Uh, so what we have now is we've got a fresh, fresh enough paint to do touch-ups and a small enough quantity where we didn't have to again buy another gallon, which they run between $25 to $40 depending on the quality that you want. How we're going to dispose of the paint, that's in our next video. Now you can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. This is a very simple thing to do. It's very economical and it's a great way to go ahead and store your paint. Just have somebody show you how to do it, like I did. Please, please, please subscribe. I know there's some sort of a button around here somewhere that, that will do that for you. And I'll see you on the next video.